everyone and welcome in this rather nice Porsche Panamera Turbo Sport Turismo. Now I picked this up yesterday directly from Porsche Switzerland and first impressions on this car is just wow this is such a beautiful car inside and outside. Now, since I picked it up yesterday evening I've only driven it for about two hours and I just feel so relaxed in here. Now I've got this car for a full week and as quite a few different things I would like to do with it during that week and one of them is going to the German Autobahn. This car for me would suit the German Autobahn perfect and as it is a sunny dry day today I thought that would be the first thing I do is now head over to Germany and see what we can do in this because it does still have the summer tires on which means I can try and hit the top speed. So let's make our way to Germany and uh, actually no scrap that I've not had a coffee yet so let's head into Zurich first get a coffee and then go to Germany. Look what's outside the coffee shop. Look at that beast. Morgan three wheeler. Boom, coffee done, feeling much better. Really cool to see the Morgan three-wheeler pipe inside the coffee shop. That is the best coffee in Zurich. If you come to Zurich, go for coffee there. Anyway, let's jump back in the Porsche and head off to Deutschland. I am now in Deutschland with the Porsche Panamera and it's looking nice and quiet so far for a change, which is a big surprise and do excuse the GoPro here generally when I'm filming I never like to have another camera on camera if that makes sense but while I'm filming on the German Autobahn I like to try and show the speedo if I can and that's pretty much the only angle where I can put it where you can see the speedo and see ahead as well so crossing over from Switzerland you straight away go on a de-restricted bit it's only about a minute long but what I like to do in that minute is see how fast I can get with each car well normally it's about a minute long depends how fast you're going but I say we now give that a go I am here let's try this out that's 200 already Yeah, okay, that's less than a minute than I remembered. That was probably about 30 seconds. Um, yeah, but 250, not bad, not bad in that small space. So I'm not gonna talk about the car too much today because what I would like to do is make another video once I've got to know the car a bit better, going more into detail in it and probably talking about if I was to buy one, why I would buy one. I made one of these videos some time back with Alfa Romeo, why I would buy that car, and I think I'm gonna do the same with this one. I really didn't expect it to be this good. I have heard good things about it, and I've not read any reviews on the car, because if I do that before I drive a car, I sometimes find that it can already make my mind up for me. So I like to drive a car with a completely clear head, and then I can decide how and what I like about it. I don't come to the German Autobahn that often, but every month I feel the need to come here and drive as fast as possible. It's like I just need to get out of my system just to go flat out. Driving here from Switzerland now was two hours, and I just did it in such comfort and ease. This is just 
such a nice place to be. And dare I say, when I'm driving this car, I get this slight kind of Bentley Rolls Royce feeling. It's this, everything is just beautiful inside and the way it just pulls you along, it's like this whoosh and it's soft but quick. And for long distance driving, I think this would be one of the ultimate cars. Okay, we're on a de-restricted bit. You know what that means? Foot's flat to the floor. My goal is today, I've never hit 300. I've hit 298, which is really frustrating. And today, I feel like going fast and I feel like hitting my 300. And this should be the car to do it in. I love this corner. It's so satisfying going around such a big corner at high speed. Now doing 215 around the corner. Smooth as butter. 220 around the corner. Look at that. Okay, foot's flat to the floor. Come on. Give me my 300 Porsche. 250. relatively effortless and yeah it's just completely stable I mean this car is definitely made for high speeds so what's happened is I spent a few hours more on the German Autobahn trying to get to 300 didn't manage it wasted the last hours of the day like trying to do that as you can see it's now dark anyway on the way back i got a phone call from a friend in logano who's invited me down because tomorrow morning we're going to take his mclaren 675lt to a racetrack in italy with a bunch of other race cars so i rushed home got changed and now i'm heading down to logano so yeah another awesome day planned for tomorrow and this drive down to logano should give me a bit of decent time with panamera to get to know a bit more and i shall see you all in the next video very soon in a mclaren somewhere in italy in the